What's up guys and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we're here at one of our state stock trout streams that I've never visited before. And a lot of people say this is a great place to catch some trout. And I'm really excited to adventure around this creek today guys and try to find some successful spots to fish. In today's video we've got our loose Mock Pro combo, a little trout magnet with that little pink body there. We've got our trout magnet float. As you guys know, this is my favorite technique to use in a state stock trout stream. And uh, I wanna give it a chance today, fish it around. I've got several different baits to go along with it. So let's just get in here, guys. No promises for a successful day, but let's just see what happens. And two, three times, I caught one four pound half out here, damn brown. All right, guys, so the trout magnet does not appear to be the deal. Now that does happen, but the beauty of the trout magnet, in my opinion, is you don't have to just fish a trout magnet on there, guys. The options are endless. And one of my favorite go-tos, probably the greatest of all time, in my opinion, is that Berkeley pinch crawler right there. If you guys have been following the channel very long, you've probably seen me catch countless fish on this little rig right here. Now what I wanna do, instead of jigging this through here, which probably would work, I wanna go on ahead and reattach my float back onto the rig here guys the pinch crawler has got a beautiful scent to it that uh the fish just love and odds are we will not need to jig to entice these fish once that scent gets in the water guys they should feed on it now there's no guarantees there's a pretty good chance and i've even got the yellow color today and if these are some brown trout they will definitely take that yellow pinch crawler they absolutely love it but we'll fish this around for a minute and we'll just see what happens here Oh, there we go. He bit it. We got him. We got him. Just as I expected, a brown trout. Heck yeah, guys. Not a bad one to start off our day. And just like I thought, he came over and grabbed that old pinch crawler. Let's just slide her right on into the net. There we go. Gorgeous fish right there, guys. To start off our adventure, looks like a kiped jaw male. Gorgeous fish right here, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. See if we can get her out of the net. There we go. Calm down, little buddy. Need to make sure not to call you a girl because you certainly are not. All right, this little guy right here has got a jaw full of teeth, so we're going to play it smart here, guys. We want to grab out our old pliers here. Grab the bend of the hook right there. Pop it on out, just like so. Peg tightly in the roof of his mouth there. Wow, gorgeous male brown trout to start off our day. Let's just let him go at our feet. Here he is right here at our feet. Gorgeous fish right there, guys. Let's just go on ahead and grab our little pinch crawler. Odds are this pattern is going to continue to work. So let's just rig him on up beautifully onto our hook, just like that right there. We'll just bomb it back in there. Heck yeah, guys. Got him. Another little brownie. Heck yeah, guys. Looks like we stumbled up on a little hole full of brown trout. Heck yeah, that's my favorite. I love catching them. Super angry. There goes our pinch crawler. We'll try to save it. Got to net the fish first. There we go. Don't want to waste our bait. Let's just take a big step over here to the left. Grab that. There we go. To our right. Gosh, how old are we? All right, another gorgeous brown trout right there, guys. Let me turn and get her in the sun so you can see him better. Another male, big kite jaw, same as last time. Gorgeous fish right there, guys. Absolutely stunning. Let's let it go. There it goes back strong. All right, we saved our pinch crawler, but two fish in a row would indicate that there's brown trout in here. And there's no doubt in my mind that the majority is going to be browns. So let's go ahead and hop in here, guys. Grab the yellow pinch crawler. I have learned from trial and error that the yellow pinch crawler absolutely shines and really shows itself off when there's brown and brook trout around. And even those little finicky golds. So for those of you guys who are gonna be attending the West Virginia Gold Rush, that right there is a staple for that fishing event. All right, let's just bomb it on in here and see if we can't do that again. Looks like we have found ourselves a pocket of browns. We got the perfect bait for the situation. 
just like that just like that there we go got another one on best one of the day so far it looks like gorgeous fish got that yellow pinch crawler pegged right in the roof of the mouth i mean one beautiful brown child right here guys wow 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 there goes our pinch crawler gotta save him really quickly there we go wow guys i mean these big beautiful browns are just a feeding got ourselves a little hen right here pegged right where you want it guys the trout magnet rig with that pinch crawler is a brown trout kryptonite i'm telling you let's let it go there we go guys heck yeah so looks like so far so good i'm just going to grab out that same little pinch crawler we're going to rig him right back up on our t-mag hook right here we've caught a few fish so it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and check our line make sure it's still good and strong yep and let's just bomb it back out in here guys and see if we can't keep this going all right cast it way upstream there let that little t-mag rig get down there with that berkeley pinch crawler started way ahead of these fish There's, i'm sure they're going to start getting finicky so we want to kind of be a little fragile with them at first let's just see what happens there we go there we go very next cast another beautiful brown trout this one quite small just a small little guy but another beautiful fish right here guys i cannot explain to you how grateful i am to have showed up to this spot here today after a couple hours of really hard fishing to find a pod of beautiful brown trout waiting for me guys and that just goes to show you that if you keep at it you keep fishing around you keep making casts and you keep looking for productive spots you can get lucky and find a whole pod of them guys heck yeah looks like our little pinch crawler's still barely hanging on so we'll rig him back up the best that we can and we'll throw him back out there heck yeah guys heck yeah let that little beauty get on down there i can actually see it sinking there comes a fish over to it bumped the bobber once bumped it twice we got him we got him another gorgeous fish guys another gorgeous fish wow not sure how many we've caught at this point but it looks like they're still coming out pretty fast not bad the spots on this fish is just phenomenal right here wow 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 there's nothing like a big gorgeous brown trout they're so aggressive gorgeous colors i mean just outstanding fish right there let's let her go heck yeah still got our pinch crawler guys so you know what we're going to do there we go there's a little bit nicer one right there not a super big one but a little bit better stay out of that little limb there buddy we don't want to get you in that looks like we lost our pinch crawler but that pinch crawler caught us a bunch of fish that's okay there we go guys now another really good bait that berkeley makes in their gulp line for fishing big browns is the gulp alive minnow now you can get those in the small version in the jars and they work great on a trout magnet rig or you can nose hook the bigger two and a half inch ones and they work great just nose hooked on your basic little dough bait rig or whatever you like the best and just jigging along the big browns love those as well but over the last year or so just out of trial and error i have learned and can pretty well guarantee that that color right there in the pinch crawler is just a game changer when it comes to fishing brown trout especially stocked browns i don't know so much about the wild ones they do like minnows a lot and spinners and things but if you're around some stocked brown trout guys that yellow pinch crawler is just the deal all right right back in the group of them again already getting a bite it looks like yep got him got him barely had time to turn the camera on oh looks like we finally got ourselves something a little different here guys got ourselves a little rainbow trout there we go i wasn't sure if there was going to be anything else in this run but as you can see right here guys we've got ourselves a gorgeous little rainbow there goes our pinch crawler again our baits are plenty soft today that's for sure but here we go guys and just goes to show you that pinch crawler works for all stock trout but the big brownies love it and you know the same as i do rainbow trout are a little more aggressive than those brownies so if those brownies have been beating these rainbows to that pinch crawler it just goes to show you how effective it is for those brown trout there we go first rainbow in the net released happy and healthy heck yeah guys heck yeah
I'm going right into that current over there. Let it rip by a little faster. See if there isn't anybody hanging out over there in that fast water. Might be where the big ones are. There we go. Not a bad one came out of that current, guys. I can promise you that. Not a bad one. Another brownie. Heck yeah. Another beautiful. Oh, he kicked the hook and he got me in a tree. I reckon that'll happen. All right, guys. I do want to make one small modification to our rig here. And it's really just for this particular hole. Typically, the trout magnet hook will get your pinch crawler down there really, really well. But I want to add a small split shot weight to my line. And I want to get it down there really, really deep. And the only reason I want to do that is catching all these browns makes me feel really confident, guys, that there's a big one in there. And our state has been doing an excellent job this year of stocking really large fish. And these fish are biting as if they're kind of untapped or really un unmessed with for today. They haven't been fished hard, too hard. And uh, with that being said, there's a likeliness of a big brown being in here. And from what I've learned over the you know course of the several years fishing for these trout is the bigger browns like to get down there very, very close to the bottom. They like to pick up those small minnows that are swimming around down there on the bottom, trying to stay out of the way. And odds are, if there's a big brown in here, that's exactly where it's gonna be, is right up against the bottom, just kind of feeding, staying out of the way, likely putting as much water over its head as it can, thus being in the deepest spot it can be in. And uh, we'll just try that, guys, and we'll see if we can't make this pattern work for us on getting us one really large fish out of here. There we go. Not a giant one, but a beautiful one. And this one is so dark. Beautiful colors on this one here, guys. A little extra weight didn't hurt to catch this fish. I'm shredding off my pinch crawlers. There goes another one out there into the current. That's okay. I'll trade a pinch crawler for a brown trout any day. See if we can't just pop her off nice and easily. There we go. Gorgeous fish. Look at the color, guys. So dark, it's almost blue. Fantastic. Let's let it go. There we go. All righty. Let's go on ahead and grab ourselves out another one of our pinch crawlers. I think this is the third one out of this pack. And we've easily caught ourselves a limit of Virginia trout today. But we're not keeping. We're just having some fun out here enjoying this warm spring weather with you guys. And uh, I say, let's just go on ahead and catch us another one. What do you say? Oh, instantly bigger one, guys. What I was looking for, I think. Definitely a bigger fish, definitely larger. Heck yeah, guys, just like I figured. Get that old pinch crawler down there. A little bit deeper. I better give this fish a little bit of drag. It's a lot larger than the last few. Come over here, girl. Come on over here. Gorgeous fish right here. Wow. I'd love to get this one in the net for you guys. Let's turn her and scoop her. There we go. There we go. Maybe not quite a two pounder, but we got down there, guys. We dredged that bottom just like I told you guys about. And there you go. There's our stud fish of the day right there. You can't complain with that one bit, guys. You cannot complain one bit. Let's let her go. Wow, there she goes. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. Oh, was that a bite? I couldn't tell. I think it was. Mm, he's all over. Yeah, he's got it. We got him. There we go. There we go. Another nice one, too. Nice dark colors on this fish. Wow, wow, wow. Gorgeous absolutely gorgeous let's just slide her into the net as well there we go guys heck yeah that's exactly what we were looking for right there better save that pinch crawler bunch of teeth in this little beauty's mouth right here trout magnet hook pops right out another gorgeous super dark fish let's just let her go mm, there was our bite right there bite it again He's got it. Oh yeah. Nice fish right here. Nice one down there deep. Another gorgeous Virginia brown trout. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah, got her in the net. Got our pinch crawler laying right over there in front of us. She was kind enough to kick it off into the creek. There we go. Let's just let her go. 
We'll try to call our pinch crawler back over here to us. Don't want to lose that. There we go. Saved our bait. Got our fish. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. All right, guys. Let's call this cast right here the very last cast of the day. These fish are still just feeding on all cylinders, guys. They are just ramped up and biting. But like I mentioned, this is a state stock stream. And there's likely going to be somebody else show up here and want to catch some of these fish today as well. And I don't want to be the guy who catches all the fish in the hole. So we're going to leave this to somebody else. Let them come down in here, find this beautiful hole of brown trout. And who knows, that big beauty we was talking about earlier could still be swimming around in here. Somebody might get lucky and stop by and catch her. You never know. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you hit that like button. And let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite color of pinch crawler? And uh, what colors do you like to use on each particular type of trout whenever you know you're around them, be it brooks, browns, rainbows, or even those golden trout. And if you would like a chance to win two packs of the gulp pinch crawlers in the natural brown and this yellow, all you've got to do is head down there into the comments, drop me a comment. Any comment will do, and that will be your entry for a chance to win. But get out if you can, guys, and do some fishing and have some fun. But most importantly, be safe and tight lines.